Hey guys, Danielle here. I'm actually in my car. I just wanted to stop in today to tell you how important it is for you to just keep giving, right? When you give and you give and you give, chances are you are going to receive. I don't know if you guys have ever read the Bible, but it says, you know, you just give. You, 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 you give and then you will receive, right? You don't just give to receive. Hi, love on fire. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, so today, you know, I'm just coming back from my daughter's school because, uh, you know, like I said, I, you know, I love, uh, volunteering at my kids' schools. I love doing those kind of things because I think that is important. That's most important to, um, you know, to growth and development for your kids, right? So, you know, all throughout the year, you know, working my business, volunteering at my kids' schools, I've always just given of myself, not asking for nothing in return, right? And so today we had a breakfast, a volunteer breakfast, and I just showed up and look what I got. <laughs> look what I got. Uh, roses, you know, for being that mom who just shows up and helps out. Yeah, that was so sweet, right? Are you, um, are you excited? I mean, you know, so that's just very touching to me because I don't do any of this. Good morning, Miss Carol. Good morning, Love and Fire. Nice, thank you. I don't do any of the things that I do. Hello, Shawnee girl. Um, I don't do any of this um, for praise or for, you know, um, just for to, for to show off. I do it to help. I do it to help my my children's schools. I do it to help out the teachers. I do it to help out the principal because without the parents' involvement, you know, where is the school? You know, I've been to schools where there was a lack of parental involvement. And what happens to those kids? They don't know. They don't know how important that, that homeschool school connection is, right? So the same kind of energy I put into my life, my home life, you know, I put that into my business also. You just got to keep giving, guys. Keep giving. Give to your family. Give If you have a husband or a wife, give to your spouse. Just keep giving. You know, you don't have to be a martyr. I'm not telling you to give and let people walk all over you or abuse you, right? You agree, love and fight, you, but you have to keep giving because when you give, oh, your vice principal at your son's school, great, wonderful, April. When you keep giving without any expectation of anything in return, you are going to get it. It's just the laws of the universe. It's that law of attraction, right? So when I stepped into this, into this, uh, you know, to this, to this breakfast, I just came to get a bagel and some coffee, honestly. You know, they said it's a parent fair, volunteer breakfast, come. And when I stepped in there and the principal and the, and the assistant principal presented me with roses, you know, that touched me because you know, and this is my last year at this school, and I've been volunteering since my child was in kindergarten. You know, I have three different kids in three different schools, and I volunteer. Hello, only one DJ. Hello. I, I volunteer at all of their schools because I want my children to know that no matter what, mom is there to back them up. Mom is there to make sure that they are excelling. Mom, right, you give what you get back. Right, Shawnee girl. You, I am there to make sure that they understand how important it is to give of your time, your talent, and even your resources, right? We, I pay PTA dues. I, I volunteer and, I, and I, I give to the teachers. I give, you know, I give my, I give my financial, my, I give my tithes, so to speak, right? You go to church and you give tithes. There, there, is, a, there is a saying that when you give 10% of everything that you bring in, you will be abundantly blessed. And I believe that, you know, and it's not always financial, but you know what? No matter what you do, it comes back. It comes back tenfold. And like I always tell my son, um, you know, he's sometimes he says, mommy, um, Oh, thank you, Lynette. Um, yeah, law of attraction is always positive. My son, he always, he, sometimes he says me, if, t tells me if he doesn't have any money in his pocket, he says, Mommy, I'm broke, right? And I say, let me tell you something. Never say that you're broke, right? Cause, because first of all, when you say you're broke, that means you're broken and you cannot be fixed, right? When you say that maybe right now I don't have it, but my abundance is coming, 
that's where you change your whole mindset and that's when you open yourself up to receive right love on fire never say never say that never say that and guess what happens broke equals broken that's right only one dj broke equals broken so now let's let me fast forward right you know he's my, he always says my abundance is coming my guess what happened to him he was in the park and he loves to play basketball my son he was in the park and guess what he found 60 dollars on the ground he said mommy he came running home mommy my abundance came, right? And it's just so great because, you know, I'm, I'm teaching my children how to, how to embrace abundance and how to look for it and how to receive it, right? So, yes, yes, Palm Beach Raps, favor shines on you. Oh, thank you, favor shines on you, your film. Yes, and it's like you have to teach your children because the children are the ones who are watching us. And if we don't model for them at home, in school, in our business, you know, those are the things, that's one of the reasons why, I hope I'm not offending anybody here, but that's one of the reasons why I stopped going to church. Because I started seeing, you know, I, I went to church with one mindset, seeing something, thinking that I was going to receive some, some something. First of all, I didn't know that what I wanted to receive was already inside of me. You know, that was my first mistake. But my second mistake, thank you only one DJ, but my second mistake was thinking that these people that were there were, were authentic, right? And I'm not saying everybody. I'm not saying everybody. I hope I don't offend anybody. But I don't like to see people that are saying one thing and doing another, right? On Sunday, they are, they are, they are praying and they're praising, praising him, right? And then right after church, they're ready to let somebody have it. They're ready to curse you out and ready to beat you down, right? So that's what I experienced. And, you know, and, 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 and it didn't sit well with me because I'm one person all the way. And if you don't, understand that what you give out it comes back then you know you, you you're not you're living a lie exactly you're living a lie so you know i just be i believe in you attracting what you are you attract who you are you attract what you give out and you get it back right your kids think you're on pay that's right you think your kids aren't paying attention but they always are they're always watching my mother used to say little pictures have ears you know, little pictures have ears and they also have eyes. Yes, love on fire. I believe it also. So, you know, this was just was my, you know, I just wanted to tell you guys this today as I'm coming from my daughter's school, you know, always excited. You, you probably will never see me not excited. You know, I have my down days. You know, I'm not like on a high all the time. But as soon as I get in front of people and I'm and I get my my message and my heart starts racing, I'm like, I got I got to share this. I got to share. I got to share my passion for life. Is my life perfect? No. But I always know no matter what I'm going through, it's something that's setting me up for, for blessings and abundance. Right, so I hope you guys feel the same way. I hope you know that no matter what, just keep giving, guys. Keep giving, keep giving until you can't give anymore. But let me tell you something: there will never be a time that you can't give anymore if you just keep giving and without expecting anything back, because you will always give back whatever you put out. So if you put out a little, you're gonna get back a little. If you put out a lot, you're gonna get back a lot. If you put out grudgingly and you don't really want to do it, then you get back nothing. So do it. Give Give yourself with the open heart, an open mind, give with love, and remember our kids are always watching us, all right? If you have kids, um, you know, that's my motivation, always to do, always to be my best self, because you realize that when something comes out, that's right, that's right, you're right, that's right, you realize that when my son came home, mom, my abundance came, it was so funny, it was so cute, but um, yeah, guys, so I'm on my way home, I'm on my way home, I'm going to do my work from home Wednesday webinar, if you guys want to listen about what I do here at home, I I am a mompreneur on a mission to help moms, women around the world find freedom working from home. I was trapped, guys. I was trapped inside of a job that didn't that didn't satisfy me. I felt, you know, I felt um, like I, like my life was being stifled. I felt that I couldn't I couldn't connect with the people that I wanted to connect with. I didn't know which way I was going. All I knew is that I I knew that there was something more for me, right? And when you put that out there, that comes back to you. So now I'm about to go home. 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm doing my Work From Home Wednesday webinar. You can watch me on workfromhomewednesday.com www.workfromhomewednesday.com and I'm going to teach about 
about what I do on a daily basis that is allowing me to stay home, enjoy freedom, residual income from home. All right, so if you guys are interested in anything like that, if you know somebody that's interested in it, good, good for you, Pete Palm Beach Raps. That's what I'm talking about. Quit those nine to fives and step into your power. Step into the abundance that is already out here. This world is abundant. It has abundant resources. And we just have to learn to tap into it. But first, we have to tap into ourselves. Right, we have to get that courage, and we have to get that confidence, and we have to know that we were created as 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 powerful beings here to 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 touch people in a way that they've never been touched. People are so consumed with watching TV and doing things that that are not edifying them that they don't understand that they have such talent and and power inside of them. So you know that's my mission to help women understand that that power lies within them. I've been through a lot, guys. I've been abused. I've been you know I, I lost my mom when I was 15. So basically. I was homeless, you know, but let me tell you something. God has a plan for me. And as long as I keep my eye on the prize and as long as I'm here to help other people, I will always make it to the top. So I'll see you guys at the top. Workfromhomewednesday.com, 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll see you there. Thanks, you guys, for, for chiming in. Hugs, kisses. Thanks for the hearts. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.